So, hello everyone. Um, I just wanted to show something that I thought was really cool. Um, through the power of DOSBox, uh, I can actually play Diablo 2, StarCraft, and Diablo Hellfire on my phone. So, Magic DOSBox is available from the Play Store. And uh, let's just fire it up here. Have a little batch script just to do the boot. See, it actually has the Windows 98 startup menu. That's actually how you can install this. You just get a Windows 98 uh, floppy disk image. Look at that. Oh, that's going. Look at that keyboard there. So let's fire up StarCraft. Why not? Oh, yeah. So this actually, I started back when I got my Google Pixel, um, but the performance wasn't quite good enough. But with the Galaxy S22, it's oh, perfect. So nice. Blizzard did such a good job on all their cinematics over the years. Like load times are ridiculously good. <laughs> Fire up the expansion real quick here. You know. I said I would show you Diablo 2, right? Okay, that's being a little cheeky. I think Diablo 2 is a bit too much for this. But, uh, I mean, over the years, I have a plethora of maps. Oh, let's just fire up the key bridge probably a little quicker. Go through this list. Oh, look at all the maps. So many memories. A lot of this was on dial it too. <laughs> yeah. Good times. Diablo 2. Yeah. Yeah, we can play Diablo 2 on this. We'll even kill, uh, Daryl. This must have been made with a special mod uh, for the map editor. Here. This game is impractical to play on a phone, I realize. Uh, but Diablo actually plays pretty well. Look at that. The sound is like spot on. Oh, yeah. You must construct additional pylons. Right uh, I actually worked with the developer for this. Um, I'm using relative mouse right now, but there is absolute mouse support. So if you hook up uh, PlayStation 4 with the trackpad, that works pretty good. Or a real mouse uh, OTG, with the OTG, um, and you can get absolute mouse. Oh, yeah. Yeah, this developer um, has done a really, really good job overall in Magic Box Box. Um, all right, so this, I mean, this is a little cheeky, right? Uh, so let's actually show you how it works. So if we fire up DOS Box, uh, we can edit the config. Um, you can see in here, like, some of the settings I've used. Uh, but the real magic is in the config. I'll just scroll through that. I mean, you can always maybe I'll put this in the YouTube description or something like that. Uh, the magic comes here. I have some um, mounts, uh, so I'm actually just going to swap it over to my D drive. Um, for whatever reason, I can't seem to have three, so that's a shame. Uh, oh, there we go. Oops. There. I'll we'll switch to the actual uh, Diablo disc. And I showed you, a, I said I ran like a little um, batch script, W, just uh, calls boot, so I have a few images. As well, there was a bit of trial and error, like uh, I got to really give shout outs to all the folks at Vogons for all their help. Um, you know, I tried a few different drivers, some service packs, I had to get some special drivers, uh, Voodoo, um, and the Sound Blaster, getting that all working nicely. You know, there's a... Bit of work, um, but it actually started by copying 
um, a fallout. Somebody had fallout, a whole image set up. So I kind of got ideas on how to set it up from there. But then I did install Windows 98 from scratch because I didn't want any of their uh, remnants and stuff from DOM. So uh, back into DOSBox here. I'm also blown away by how fast it boots up, especially compared to my older phone. There we go. Graphics on this. Say what? Hmm. I messed that up. Probably messed that up. Do 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 do. Yeah, blue. Oh, I don't think I saved my changes. Cool. I also haven't figured out how to get my map network drive to go into Windows. I can only get it within the DOS prompt itself. Um, well, it is what it is, right? All right, so let's fire it up. Very impressed by its performance. Like this wasn't quite possible uh, with good performance four years ago. Uh, so Diablo. I've always wanted to do the Hellfire expansion. I played it through with the original. Uh, so it'll be a little bit harder with a touch screen or, or even if I use um, some kind of uh, mouse solution. Maybe I'll do a rogue this time. So at the time when I had Windows 98, I had like, you know, Pentium 1, 100 megahertz kind of thing. I mean, this game is mostly about clicking anyways. <laughs> You gotta turn off the double click for a right click. Uh, or double touch for a right click. Right here. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Ha. <laughs> oh, I should actually empty the recycle bin too while I'm here. Sure. I miss theming out windows with sounds. Yep. Anywho, hope that helps somebody and, you know, inspires them to have fun tinkering. Thanks to all the developers and open source community. Um, till next time. <laughs>